When we think of spirituality, we often think of connecting to a higher power, selflessness, or finding our place in the grand scheme of things. But what if I were to tell you that spirituality plays a key role in the practice of self-love? In this short video, I want to share with you three ways you can incorporate spirituality into your self-love practice. My name is Joanna, your Mindful Mastery Coach, and I am passionate about helping people gain mastery over their mind and emotions so that they can fully enjoy their life. Spirituality is a very personal thing and can vary from person to person. So in this video, I'm just going to be sharing some general things that you can incorporate into the flavor of spirituality that you choose to practice. Self-love comes down to understanding your own self-worth and having confidence in yourself. The problem that many people face is that they base their self-worth on other people's opinions. So one person's mistreatment can be detrimental to their self-love. For this reason, the first way you can incorporate spirituality into your self-love practice is by asking for signs. For example, I had a friend that used to love a specific type of car. Specifically, it was a black Jaguar. And every time she would be driving or going someplace and she noticed that car, she would say, that is an I love you from God. Nothing can build your self-worth up as much as knowing that a higher power or the universe has your back and cares for you. So asking for those signs can be a great way to reinforce that self-worth. So choose something that you like, something that means something to you, and ask for that to be your sign that you are on the right path, that you are worthy. And then go about your day and you'll begin noticing that that thing that you asked for starts popping up here and there. For some people, it may be a black jaguar. For other people, it might be a specific number. Or maybe it's little things like feathers or pennies. Something that means something to you. In my previous videos, I've talked about how affirmations are critical for reprogramming the mind. And affirmations are truly powerful. But for some people, it may be very hard to believe statements such as I am successful when you have other beliefs that are contradicting it. For example, something like things never work out for me or things always seem to go wrong. For this reason, the second way you can incorporate spirituality into your self-love practice is by the use of a spiritual mantra. A mantra is just like an affirmation. It's a statement that we repeat, a phrase that we may repeat. But a spiritual mantra incorporates your personal beliefs, which will allow you to much more easily incorporate the new belief you're trying to reprogram yourself into. With the example of the I am successful affirmation, an alternative spiritual mantra for that could be something along the lines of, I trust that God or the universe is always working things out for my success. While it may be hard to believe that you can be successful on your own, it's easier to believe that the divine has your back. The divine is watching over you and leading you in the right direction. Another issue when it comes to self-love is that we often take care of our body by going to the doctor, getting therapy, getting medication that is necessary to help us heal. And while all those things are good and work for many people, what if I were to tell you that there is something additionally that you can do to help yourself heal faster and to build up your immune system? 
Study after study has shown that practices such as prayer can help with healing and can additionally help with boosting the immune system so that you don't get sick as often and so that you do fight off disease a lot quicker. For this reason, the third way to incorporate spirituality into your self-love practice is through meditation. There are many different types of meditations. Some may be focusing on a specific subject for a specific duration of time. There are guided meditations where you listen to someone and allow them to guide you through a particular process for a specific end. There are quiet meditations where we just listen and are open to hear what the divine has to bring to us or just even observe the things that are coming in from our senses without reacting to them. Another type of meditation is moving meditation. This can be something like taking a walk, practicing yoga, or even mowing your lawn. Practicing meditation in some aspect can help you reduce anxiety and stress, which will boost your immune system and help you recover quicker from disease. And what better way to love our body than to keep it healthy? So just to quickly recap the three ways you can incorporate spirituality into your self-love practice are number one, asking for signs. Number two, spiritual mantras. And number three, meditation. So comment down below and let me know what other ways you are using to incorporate spirituality into your self-love practice. Or just let me know where you're tuning in from. If you like this video, found it helpful, or found some value in it, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. Because this year, I am committed to helping you gain mastery over your mind and emotions. See you in the next video. Bye!